what's up guys it's King Rancher 13 and today we're going out of I just got a phone call all right sorry about that y'all uh, just it's just part of what happens when you have a business but uh, you're probably noticing that I'm wearing glasses right now and it's cuz um, I don't know just my eyes have gotten really bloodshot yesterday since I mowed the grass and so I'm wearing glasses so this is a nerdy Asian side of me that you're gonna see today. Hey, I just wanted to say, as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all watching my videos, subscribing, liking, and commenting, and stuff like that. It really, um, it's really neat just being able to interact with y'all and talk to so many of y'all. Today, we're gonna be going down to South Louisiana near uh, Venice, which is the redfish capital of the world. And we're gonna be teal hunting for the opener this year down in Venice, so hopefully we put the smack on them. And then also, as we have time during the day, we might do some bass fishing and uh, red fishing as well. I'll go ahead and show y'all. I'm packing up a few things. I had to go get me some new clothes. So I had to get some for teal season because it's gonna be hot down there. We got a short sleeve. This is a Drake short sleeve Max 5 camo. And then also got this banded short sleeve with the Max 5 camo from Limits Sporting Goods. Y'all make sure to go check them out. They're in Winsboro, Louisiana. These are all for bow hunting and stuff. I actually went ahead and got some gloves and a mask for turkey and for bow. Then had to get some pants as well. So basically I got a whole new closet this year. Got me a blind bag as well. I've been wanting one of these for the last couple years. And finally I was like, all right, I'll get one pretty neat bag. I think it's watertight or something like that. And then I've had that hat for a minute. But I'm going to put my rounds in there. I'll probably also put my camera gear in there. Let me know what y'all put in your blind bags. So after last hunting season, which was non-existent, I was just working the whole entire time. I literally never got out in the woods or in the, the blind last year. And so I kind of made a commitment to myself that I was going to try to hunt more this year and definitely get more involved with everything so this is the first year I've got my own deer lease um, and I think I've got about 170 acres or something like that to myself probably maybe only 10-15 minutes from the house which is awesome so I'm really excited about that I've got a, a two-man stand I, I got from Limit Sporting Goods as well and so I'm gonna be able to use that for um, bow or I can hunt a rifle or primitive out from it and just getting the land ready, going out there, feeding, checking the cameras and stuff like that. It's all really fun to me. And it's it's a really big, you know, kind of stress reliever as you may call it. Or, or just something to be able to get your mind off of everything else. So it's really cool to be out in God's creation and to be able to uh, take care of the things that he's given us. So I really enjoy the outdoors. And that's why I call my company Outdoor Trucks because I'm working on trucks and I'm selling parts to customers with trucks that use their truck for the outdoors. I mean, if you've got a truck, that, then you're putting stuff in the bed, you're using it for work or for play or whatever. And so that's kind of why I based my whole company uh, based off the outdoors, just because most of y'all are outdoorsmen, fishing, hunting, uh, working, all that stuff. Today, it's going to be a little different video. Uh, I don't really have much truck stuff going on, but it'll be of me getting down to Venice and meeting up with some customers that have invited me to go out hunt with them. Got all my stuff ready. There's my bag for my clothes, blind bag, camera bag, computer bag, my waders, and also bring the fryer along so that we can fry up some fish uh, maybe this, this evening and tomorrow evening. But yeah, that's what we're gonna pack up and get loaded up, get out of here. So actually I've gotta go to the eye doctor before I leave so that I can wear my contacts while I'm hunting. I'm gonna go by the doctor's office up in Monroe and then head on down south. Now we're driving down to Hammond and just about to pull into the hotel here. Uh, tonight we're gonna go and cut some brush and stuff like that for the blind for tomorrow um, to go out and scouting. And then Saturday morning is gonna be the day. Oh, here, let me just show you real quick. Been getting 21 or 22.1 miles per gallon, um, going about 75 or 70 to 75 miles per hour, which is pretty darn good. Got two queen beds to myself, and there's the truck out there. The zoom is so slow. 
Holy smokes. I freaking hate these love bugs. That is awful. That is horrendous. I don't even want to look at it. Oh. Windshield. Side mirrors. That is awful, guys. That makes me cringe so bad. But anyways, we're out just here waiting for Kyle. He's the guy that I talked to that invited me to come on this hunt trip with him and his buddies. Waiting for him to pull up. I think he's going to be pulling up here in a minute. But he's got a 2017 F-250 King Ranch just like my old one before I sold it. And so I, when he pulls up, I'll be able to take a quick shot of it. And I still haven't got my tags after over two months. Over two months. I guess it's because uh, probably it's the Louisiana DMV. They're running really behind right now with all the pandemic. And I think that people right now are buying cars and trucks more than ever, if, I, if I'm thinking right. I don't know if that's the case where y'all are at. Looks exactly like the whole truck. <laughs> hey, looks familiar. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you, bro. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, dude. Heck yeah, yeah that's clean. Looks just like your old one except uh, no mud grapplers. <laughs> Not yet, right? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> hey, shoot. Actually, hey, I got, I got something for you. You're missing something. Oh, dude. Appreciate <laughs> that, man. Man, really? Yeah, that'll, that'll go right. Cash yeah, shit. No, I, I never had one. Uh, on the you want to put it on? Oh yeah, you Man, that dark leather. It's my favorite color. Yeah. I ain't cleaned it out from the tip of the uh, to the Daytona this weekend. Did you already, did you go? Yeah, it was this past weekend. Oh, snap, I didn't know you went. Man, this thing is nice. Man, I've got 13,000 miles on it. Already? Yeah. I've only had it like two months. Good. But I need, it needs a wash bad. I, I just haven't washed mine. it because I haven't been home enough to, to wash. I have not been home on the weekend in like three months. I've been. Where have you been at? Dude, I've been. Well, I went to Daytona this month. I mean, yeah. uh, this past weekend, weekend before. Uh, well, I'll give you a little background, but uh, me and my buddies, we run a, uh, a mud ride and, yeah. and we put on big events and stuff. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. And uh, we went to a, a park in Alabama to uh, like kind of scope it out. They wanted us to put an event on there. Yeah. That may, that is what mainly takes up all my, all my time on the weekend. On the weekends, going and scouting out places that we're yeah. having. Yeah, having events and stuff. Damn. Now, now it's open a weekend of teal season, so now we're yeah. here. <laughs> Hey, that's like me. I haven't been home like on a weekend in a while. Alright. Alright, you ready? It sounds it sounds like eleven through sixteen. I like it. Yeah. And uh, he's got a lot of bamboo at his house, so we're gonna get that. Okay. Uh, I got a lot of palmetto leaves in the back of my truck that I cut earlier. Okay. So and we just gotta get a little bit more so. Uh, yeah, I mean you can leave your stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the top off the wall. I don't have a machete. I mean, I I, I don't know if I. No. Oh, I do have all these palmetto leaves on top of all this. <laughs> well, we just cut down a whole bamboo forest. <laughs> We're bringing a landscape trailer just to take all this down. And then we've got another boat 
load it down with some brush. So yeah, we're going hard. Hey, good morning, y'all. So it's the next morning. We are getting filled up. Got all the brush loaded down and cut. We got us just basically a ton of water. That's like 10 bucks in water. Trash. Let's see here, 18 gallon, 40 bucks. Dang, that's tricky. We are heading out from Hammond. Two hours and 20 minutes and 132 miles. We're all getting filled up or just about done. There were tons of steel out here yesterday. What's this behind us? Where at? Flying across one of our towns. Yeah, that's steel. They need to come over here.
All right, so I'm finally back in town. Um, it, the weather was not always quite in our favor, and so didn't do a lot of shooting or video, and I didn't get to kill any ducks, but the guys that we went with um, did, and so we still had an awesome time. I would have still gone anyways, even if I knew that I wasn't gonna kill any birds. I just love everything about it, just setting up, getting up early, going out there, watching the sun come up, and just being around some guys. And um, So I really had a good time. But this is the end of the video. Sorry it's broken up so much again. It's been so busy that I've been trying to keep up with the business and then also making sure I try to edit and put new videos out for y'all. I do have something coming up here soon, very soon, that I think y'all might enjoy. I appreciate y'all support. Thank you so much. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And as always, God bless America. Take care. Bye.